Alrighty guys, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, where today we are picking up where we left off in Episode 4. Uh, now normally I do hit like resume and we already are in the game when I do this part, but unfortunately we pause during the very start of a cutscene. So yeah, we're just going to hit resume here and we're going to watch the cutscene. Man, I can't believe how obsessed those people were with that Fred guy! So weird, right? I mean... Were they really that different from you with Jesse? I... what? No! It, I... I am a Stone Cold professional! My interest in Jesse was completely professional! Uh, don't be so sensitive, Radar. Petra's just teasing you. I know, I know. Just a little too real. Sorry, Radar. I, I just tease because I love. Not in that way. To tease. What's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Cracks out. Everybody brace yourselves. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, rough ride. No, not for you. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with you? Oh, it's that creepy ninja from the end of, uh, last episode, the teaser at the end of it. What the? Duck, Jesse. Yes. Only one person I know fights like that. Wait. You are the real Jesse? It's Ivor. Ivor? <clears throat> yes. It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. What? Yeah. What? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was I all war. white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors. All as part of my so-called training. At first it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes Strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills help me find my way to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Huh? Yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Get in here, Petra! What? No, no! So awesome! But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain! You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. 
only to return. Having defeated this admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the Ad, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Hm. Ivor, even coming from you, that is one dumb plan. Yep. Oh, give me a break, would you? The admin has made everything very confusing. I'm a desperate man. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie, and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Just tell him that I'm still obediently doing my time in the Sunshine Institute. Mmm, yes. I'm sure descriptions of your tear-stained cheeks and remorseful eyes will be quite the hit. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Oh, yeah, that should take Please us straight home, wouldn't it? It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. He's not good at the Batmans. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nuh-uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Okay, okay. Now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. Oh, <laughs> you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. I feel like they're bluffing. There's no army. Yep. The track skipped. The track's over. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. 
Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Was that an audio disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapet? Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an army. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Thank you, Val and Soup, for doing us a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! No, the real gate. <laughs> they had to specify. Is that another llama? Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Yeah, she's my pet. We've got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal the llama from Stella, alright? That's the Jesus payment for trusting Christ. her twice. Yeah. The llama is uh, now mine. The town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh,. Might affect population levels a little. Yeah, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room. Especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Okay. Let's, uh... How do I... Okay. I got an idea. I'm gonna build it real quick. I... I have no clue what I... I was building. I wanted to build a white Enderman. Then I got to the, like, height limit. Then I realized I... I don't have enough room. And, yeah. We're, we're just gonna call it here. Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderful. I don't know how that will give you nightmares. I should have made a skull or something. That would have probably been better. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material. This is barbaric. This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering. The residents who tried entering, okay. Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Let's see what you found, Luna. What do you got, Luna? Ooh, that's a beaut! Solid sniffing, Luna. How come you didn't sniff that out? <sighs> okay, so I got options here. I think I full on want to get the golden armor. Now that is armor fit for a challenge room. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room.
<laughs> Radar went shirtless. I don't know why. Don't I still have my diamond sword? Good luck. Oh, you poor doomed souls. Good thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. I feel weird, because now I stand out in the gold armor while they got the... They got the Mad Max style gear on. Waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> what is that? I think he just made a magma golem. Idea, but they don't look friendly. Great. Another golem. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? I gotta go for him. Poking fire might not be the best idea. We've got to try something yeah. else. Yeah. Take that, overgrown barbecue. Oh, that's how we do it. Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. Yes, we've got to get them under it. All right, golems, time to get soaked. Come on, golem. Got him. Mine in time. I just mined him away. Congratulations, challenges. Stage one of six hundred <laughs> complete. Uh, what? Stage two. And begin. There's no way we're making it to stage six hundred. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Maybe. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Caught it. Why did you jump on the magma? I got the high ground now. Break it? That was too close. Now, prepare yourselves. 
Okay, so we just skipped right to last phase. No one is smiling. Now, now, I'm not a monster. There is a crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water, too. Radar and I will be the best. Oh, fine! Come on. Dude, he's gonna kill me. Come on, I'm swinging and it's not even... down to size I mind his arm off I got two hearts got to be extremely careful here there we go I need to be really careful I'm like one hit basically if I get hit again I'm going to die Just because I sat there and did stupid. Well, the thing's not a total dummy. Doesn't want anything to do with the waterfalls now, does it? I broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Okay. Okay, we gotta get the sand. It's probably just a mash a just need thing. Four sand blocks, quickly. Hey, Golem! Over here! How do I craft? Come and get me, you ugly! I think I remember how to craft TNT. I might be wrong. I'm trying. Come on, craft, craft, craft. Over here, magma face. No, no, I hit it. How's that TNT looking? I am legit mashing every button I can. This thing. Just throw it at it. It should catch on fire. That might work. Should have just followed the llama. Wow. This is the first place down here that looks alive. Oh, oh, perfect. meet you over there I'm gonna go take a look around let's uh can I talk to these guys it's a birch tree for Fred did Romeo do all this maybe he regretted it 
in the end. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Trina ran on the magma blocks. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. Uh, where are you going? Petra's waiting for you. Oh, right. Yeah, that's the wrong way. Look at flowers. So strange to see flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bedrocking. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. Not much of anything. We've got three different beds. Can't go through that door. There's a chest over here. I bet I can open it. No? It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just... Reminds me of uh, this this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me. I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No, puppies just make me really sad. Okay. <sighs> Fine. It, it's not the puppies. Doesn't this? remind you of anything our friends we used to hang out in that treehouse all the time now we barely talk why does this keep happening everyone leaves and i'm i'm just by myself again i i don't know what i'm doing wrong i see them one by one just not everyone leaves petra i'm not going anywhere yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? It's gotta be. So let's pick them all up and then I'll check the order. Okay, so blue goes to the book. Blue for Fred. That did something. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. I think it's red for Romeo. Red for Romeo. Then it's purple for... Ex for yeah, I can't remember her name. Purple for Zara. Zara. I almost called, said Xavier. <laughs> I'm so dub.
Zara's bed. Make sure you get it to her. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato451. Is that a command? Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them, too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together. More than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You have to do what's best for you, Petra. And no matter how far away that takes you, you'll always know where to find me. I'm gonna miss you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. I'm honestly going to tell you this. The empty item frames there threw me off. Call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason to keep things away. There are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us. Right, that won't be a burden. Sounding pretty admonish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. It takes a village, Zara, you knew that once. Right, and then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end, 
Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm, weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo did awful things. We'll make sure he pays for them. Glad to hear it. I'm not. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? It's the Super Enderman. Get out of its way! It's the Fred folk! Those are not the people from Fred's Keep. Those are mobs! Oh, just what we needed. To find me a bed when I had been so unhelpful. Go! Mobs don't stand a chance. <laughs> Radar jump! I'm out of stamina. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's regain. Everything's one hit now for some reason. No, I will not run anymore. You just did your worst. A weak point like all the other massive you ones. Let Jesse go! Don't you have any decency? It is not cool to go around smashing everything up, making a mess, and grabbing people! Ah! Eat this! What are we doing? <laughs> it's Jack! He's back! Looks like all my training for the marsh hoppers of the Harline Swamps totally paid off. Jack! <gasps> you thought a little fall will get the better of the Velvet Tornado? Please. 
For Fred's keep! For the future! Fight! Someone's gotta catch me up here. They're on our side. They helped us back in Fred's keep. Up, well, the more the merrier. Time to let my sword get a taste of monster hide. It's hungry. Yeah! We have to repair the building, otherwise that Enderman is never going to leave us alone. Okay, so we're going to get the blocks, repair the building. Nothing like a little pressure to make building fun. Right? not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. It's after me. to us. We know that you're capable. Yeah. Look how well you did back in Romeo's challenge. You don't have to do this. It's, it's not about that. It's about doing what's right. No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. They get left behind. The Enderman is after me. I can buy you time. You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. You know what? I've done it every other time. Radar. Save Fred's people. Radar. We gotta do I'll it. See you top side. I trust Radar. He'll do it. Come and get some of this! Oh yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! us an opening everyone now can't come on you could ask more nicely but where anywhere has got to be better than here what about Zara she not coming with I guess she's staying behind with radar Oh, we're at the old order's temple. Oh, pain everywhere. That's it. No more mystery portals ever. I'm with the llama. <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the Old Order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. Spot on impression. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are... Endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again.
Did you see that? What is that? Okay. Somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that Beacon Town? Beacon Town. What did he do to my town? I guess that's also it for this episode, so. Oh my. Alright, so I legit just got two achievements for completing a chapter within four minutes. I got chapter five complete, and now I just got chapter six. That, <laughs> that was the shortest chapter. It's literally a cutscene. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? Oh, no. He's going to do something to Lucas. I got a feeling. But, yeah. I guess that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So, if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new episodes. And also, I do offer YouTube channel memberships. Uh, all you really get for them right now is just a title in the Discord. And yeah, if that, you're interested in that, go for it. But this has been Gunshy Mori, signing out. Peace. Peace.